Hi, I'm Dan from Brighton Accommodation Agency and today's video is called We Need to Talk About Condensation. In order to really get a basis of condensation, we're going to go through the dictionary definition of what condensation is. So the dictionary definition of condensation is water which collects as droplets on a cold surface when it's in contact with humid air. So you need to know where the humid air is going to come from. Now every person over the course of an evening is going to excrete between one and two pints of water and this comes from your breath, this can come from your sweat, it's just going to naturally excrete from you and that's got to go somewhere and the places that it likes to go most are the coldest parts of the room. These are usually going to be uh, cold windows, single paned windows or a cold external wall and in layman's terms this means that any moisture that's in the air is gonna, it's gonna go around and it's gonna land on a nice cold surface. As this is a Brighton Accommodation video, I do have three top tips in how to avoid condensation and, and learn how to manage it within your property. So the first one is that you've really got to make sure your house is adequately heated. So using the gift of science, we've been given central heating and using central heating with one finger, you can pretty much regulate the heat of the entire house. If you can make sure your house is heated to between 15 and 20 degrees all across the winter, you can really help prevent any condensation happening on all your cold surfaces. Point number two, you need to ventilate. So most of your houses will have a nice set of double glazed windows uh, and this will mean that there is very little natural air ventilation. So there's, it's great at keeping the cold air from coming in, it's great from keeping the hot air in, but it's really bad at natural ventilation. So if you couple that with fire doors and around fire doors you have a little furry strip which is called an intumescent strip and its job is upon contact with fire it's going to expand and make sure that no air can get through. The downside is that it's pretty good at making sure that there's no airflow anyway. So if you think your room's got double glazing this side, it's got a nice fire door with an intumescent strip this side, you've got really no airflow going out of that. So if you've got moisture in the room, Unless you ventilate, it's going to stay that way. So in the mornings, you need to get up, you need to make sure your windows are open, your doors are open, and there's plenty of airflow going through. Tip number three, uh, when you're doing your washing, it's okay to sort of dry your pants and socks on your radiator, but anything over that is really going to be bringing in a lot of moisture. Items like jeans, items like towels, they carry a massive amount of water even after the spin cycle on a washing machine. So you take them out, you put them in your room, that water has to go somewhere. And again, if your windows are shut and your doors shut, all of that moisture is staying in there and it's all gonna to contribute towards you getting excessive condensation, which will in turn turn to mold. So if you are having problems with condensation or mold, follow the tips in this video and you should be able to help yourself. If it still persists though, do give us a call at the office and we'll come up and have a look. Um, if you're still awake after a video on condensation, do have a like of our YouTube channel or like us and follow us on uh, any of the social media. Uh, comment in the box below and perhaps we can answer your questions. Dan from Brighton Accommodation Agency, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.